Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, Senator Amanda Go was arrested together with the other two suspects. But if you check on the charge sheet, Amanda Go was supposed to be arraigned in court together with the three suspects, making them four people who are supposed to be charged. But one person was missing, and the information that was emerging was that the person is running away from Kenya. So today, Mandago, in the company of two other suspects, have been presented in the court in Nakuru. And uh, upon being presented in the court, the magistrate has listened to this issue and uh, he has actually lifted the warrant of arrest. And uh, of course, he could not proceed with this case. So the court is differing with the plea taken for Senator Mandago and the two other suspects. They're saying that the fourth suspect has to be presented because the charge sheet is a joint charge sheet. So they cannot charge two or three when the other person is not there. Because of this, Mandago and the other suspect should be released on a bond of 2 million or a cash bail of 500,000. That is the ruling in the court. So Mandago has not been charged. Though the court has still granted the DPP and the missing suspect's lawyer two hours. They have been granted with two hours to lodge an appeal at High Court after the trial has failed to begin today because then they have maybe to change the charge sheet and how do you change it? If you had three people or four, then there's no way you're going to separate this. So as you're speaking now, maybe at 2 p.m., the DPP and the, the lawyer to the missing suspect are going to to appeal this issue or they want to lodge an appeal and this matter will continue. So the court have just delivered a ruling on the trial process. On the trial process commenced in the court is ruled that the process commences after the charge sheet which involves all the accused persons which I can separate unless the prosecution separates them. So uh, the prosecution had no objection in the first place to the lifting of the, of the one of the arrest for case number two and three who are present today. So the issue now is whether case two and three who are present and their warrant of arrest having already been lifted in the concurrence of all parties hearing should be released on bond or bail, bail at this stage pending the arrest of case number one or any action on the charge sheet by the prosecution there. Bail or bond is a fundamental right to everyone, even to one who arrested and not charged. The fact that plea is yet to be taken should not be a bar against the release on bail. In a case where the prosecution had no objection in the first place to the lifting of the warrant of arrest which they applied for earlier on. I do therefore consider that all the accused two and three only, accused two and three who are present today, be relieved on bond of two million Kenya shillings, a much of a similar amount. Am I clear? Accused two to four hundred, accused two, three and four. I consider them either two, three, and four. They are not present. I could two to four. Yes, eh? my record is not well reflected. I'm sorry for that. But I could two, three, and four. They are not present today. 
I consider them for bond of two million Kenya shillings and one short of similar amount or cash bill of five hundred thousand Kenya shillings. Eh? Five hundred thousand Kenya shillings. Eh? Pending plea and or the arrest of the first accused person. So meanwhile, the warrant was against the first accused person is still in force. So we agree on a date. Of course, the prosecution always have a right, any part of the right, to appeal within 14 days. Now, yesterday we had William Ruto telling the parents and the students who are affected with this Finland uh, scholarship saga that the matter is in the court. He would not want to comment much on it, but they are going to push it to the end so that everyone will be served with justice. So those who had hopes in the court, the possibility of Mandago being set free is inevitable. So this case will be hard for a very long time. It might not take just one month or two to determine this case. It is going to take a very long time. Maybe even a year or two. <laughs> so for those who are looking for justice like instant coffee, Forget about that. Once the matter is in the court, it is going to be dragged, and in fact, they will even frustrate it. It will take long, and the sooner you will discover, we will be having another election in this country. If Ruto was indeed serious and willing to help these parents, he should have cleared that debt. Simple as that. Then deal with the county government to refund this money to the national government. Let him launch a war between county government of Wasingishu and the national government, the executive. Sasa ikue yeye wanadeishana na county government. Na akue amelipa hawa wa mama na waze pesa zao na wanafuzi. In that way he would have brought a solution. But as long as they advised Mandago to go to court and now, that is the way to go. Mandago is just going to pay 500,000 Kenyan shillings and will be released on a bond. And you know, as of now, they cannot issue another warrant of arrest until the fourth suspect has been presented in the court. And then, from there, they can proceed with this case. Above all, still, bond, uh, is it bill? Uh, both bond or bill is a fundamental right to every person like the judge puts it. So, no matter what, ata wale watu wamehua watu si wanapatanga bond, na si wanapata bail. So still we will have it, and now that because the case is in the court, Mandoko would want to pursue this matter through the court. But this case is not only touching on Mandoko. Seemingly, Mandoko is just carrying the burden of other individuals who are in the same Scandal with him. But to the same between the beginning, he will go pesa, and he will go to the Kupiga Siasa. Now, Pesa is a maskin that is to make a Kupiga Siasa in Kenya. And he is on the Walko and Agawa, and he is on the Rambeza, and he is on the Zao, and he is on the campaign rallies. He is on the Pesa Walko and Agawa. We are talking about 1.1 billion shillings, the money in the question. So it's not just a small amount of money. It's not a change. That's big money. Now, when I do a presidential campaign, you need like four to five billion shillings to run a, success, a successful campaign in Kenya. Just, just imagine, out of four, someone has already provided you with one billion. Look at that. In a far wonge, IBC, wale wakuhongo hapo, na watu wengine hapa na pale. Mambo yende kwa njia yako. So, the parents and the students in Wasingishu will continue to wait for long. And seemingly, Ruto has no solution. He cannot even compile, uh, com compile these people to return the money. Seemingly, these people are just speaking <laughs> the same language. Both Ruto, Mandago, and Governor B are speaking the same thing, but in a different occasion. Ile kitu yenye Ruto alisema jana, yenye Mandago alisema ile siku, na yenye Gavana Bia alisema, ni the same thing. 
These people have no any plan to solve your problem. So he said, I'm going to go to promise you again to pay a lot university. But we're going to look at the university. So look at another project to further the education and look for a job. If they are serious, they should help these students to achieve their dream. Come and look at Finland. Let them go and let them have access to their money. Serikali was a decade. Lakini he yota ni mchezo ya paka na panya. Mandago is just there for PR. And indeed the main game here was to calm down the, the pressure from the parents and buy more time, buy their patience with the, this PR exercise of arresting Mandago, taking him to court. As they take him to court, they knew that the other person is not there. The person who was preparing the charge sheet knew that this charge sheet is going to bounce. It cannot go through. But they proceeded. So they just wanted to be seen as if they are doing something. And people will, hear that, that people will feel that indeed our case is going on and seemingly we are seeing some moves taking place here and there. That's what they were looking for. And they are achieving it. Because parents are buying into this issue. Even the students are now buying into this. But then, if you look keenly with your eye, you can see it is all about PR. There was just a good way Ruto as the president would have helped his own people in Wasingishu. But he's dodging. He's dodging and he's playing politics. That's why imekuwa ni mchezo ya paka na panya. Sasa manda kakiachiliwa leo, what would you say? Simutamona tuwa kwa pale kwa devolution <laughs> devolution eh, nini? conference. He will come there. Sasa wazazo waliambiwa musiende mandamano ata hii mama tunapeleka paka kwa koti ita suluwishu. They called off demonstration. Sasa koti ndio hii. Ile kesa hata wame prepare it is weak and even from the word go it is telling that they had an intention to fail even on the first place just by the fact that they prepared a judgment of four people knowing that the fourth person is missing. Sasa hii ni mpango walikuwa wanajua hii ni mpango mchezo ya paka na panya ndio inaendelea zaidi. <laughs> so there is no justice here. We will wait and see what the court will say at 2 p.m. because I know maybe they will be back in court at 2 p.m. for this matter if uh, there will be anyone who's going to um, appeal this case be it DPP or the lawyer representing the fourth suspect who is seemingly on a run. <laughs> I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for coordination of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much. And if you have reached this far, please just remember to give this video a thumbs up and share where necessary. And again, just subscribe. By subscribing, you are helping us to grow. So make this channel your channel. And we are here because of you. Otherwise, if you don't subscribe, we will not have a platform like this one. So feel being part of this uh, house and make this channel your home. Thank you and see you in our next video.